guys so we are in Disneyland Paris and um, this little surprise trip that I booked for Scott and I supposed to be for our anniversary we were going to go to Manchester um, and then I just casually made it a Disney holiday instead uh, which is very exciting but I'm not going to vlog too much because the whole thing with this trip is that we have barely seen each other recently because our timetables are so like opposite this year so I'm not going to be spending loads of time vlogging this trip so it'll probably just be like one vlog for the whole trip um, and I don't know how much chat I'll give you but I thought I would still vlog it anyway because you guys seem to like my Disney vlogs Um, so yeah we have literally just arrived and being in the Shagan this time so you can kind of see the room there the bed which we've already made a mess of two bunk beds bathrooms back there Scott is hiding in the bathroom I think uh, but yeah we're over to the park now Everything in this hotel is so well themed, even down to <laughs> the door of the room. Like honestly, like this is the door to our, our hotel room. It looks totally like it really fits with the, the theme and everything. This is what the hotel looks like. So it's all individual buildings, like they're all rooms and like stuff, but they're all different names. starting so that's pretty much what's happening um, but we need to buy Scott gloves and a hat because he doesn't have them and he's freezing and his ears are cold because it is absolutely perishing but all the Christmas stuff still up and I'm so happy because Christmas is like <laughs> Christmas is like my favourite time to be here and I was really upset because we couldn't come last week when it was still officially Christmas um, because the flights were just like ridiculous prices for last week for some reason um, but this week we're here and the Christmas stuff still all up which is really back to the usual dreams although the Christmas stuff's still there it's like all the normal um, shows and parades and stuff that are back and it was so so good but we are now just waiting and um, to go to our next for dinner morning guys so it's day two of our trip um, it is just before nine o'clock. We've been up. We've been up. We've had breakfast. Um, we get extra magic hours in the parks because we're staying um, in a Disney hotel, and we are now just heading over to the park before everyone else. We're not super. We could have been in from eight o'clock. Um, it's just about to be nine o'clock, so we'll be about maybe ten past nine by the time we get over there. 
Um, so we're not like super super early before everybody else, but we're still pretty early. The only thing is our extra magic hours this trip are in the studios rather than the Disney park, which is a little bit random and we're a little bit less concerned with the studios because Scott doesn't like big roller coasters, so like we don't really like the stuff that's open for extra magic hours in the studios is like Tower of Terror and like probably Rock and Roller Coaster and Crash the Coaster and stuff which we won't be going on because I am not going on them myself. Um, but it's still nice to get in before everyone else and get some like pictures while it's quiet. I'm wearing this hat from my last trip. Um, and yeah, so we'll catch up soon. I thought you guys might like to know I got the most bizarre outfit of this hat. My face generally always looks like my face. This gold dress from m and which um, I might do a blog post on so that you guys can see it properly, but I wore it in Paris the last day of my trip. And then I've got my, my zipper over it, and then like the bottom of my dress, and it looks, it's a pretty bizarre combo. And I'm putting on my actual coat to go out because it's so, so cold. next fast passes for um, the Ratatouille ride again and we're now about to watch the Animagique show which is one of my favourites. We are just out of Animagique so we are going to quickly go into one of the shops and then the showing of Cinemagique in like 20 minutes. Guys I'm in one of the shops at Disney and I don't know if you guys can hear or not but they're playing Harry Potter music and it makes me like so ridiculously happy. I'll try and wait for it to like come back on but like it's like proper like Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone film music. It's like actually so amazing. I love it. This shop's so nicely decorated, like it's got loads of actual like Walt Disney stuff around it, like about him and like the actual setting up of Disney and stuff, which is really nice. But I'm so excited about the music. Like it's literally like I'm in my favourite place with my favourite film as well, sort of, and my favourite books and my favourite franchise generally ever. And your favourite person. And my favourite person because he's here to just include that. Just done the art of animation like show thing and then done an animation class. As usual, Scott's literally looks like it's lifted straight out of a Disney film, and mine is the pink elephant version of Mickey that's actually terrifying. So that Scott's looking, you know, pretty, happy, nice, you know, cute Mickey. Here's mine. <laughs> looking, you know, beyond manic. Like, imagine that. Imagine that being in your room at night. I don't think I got the, the proportions quite right at all. These are not the same character. Okay, right, I'm gonna vlog now. So we've just done three rides. We did Snow White, which is terrifying. I have always been scared of the Evil Queen from Snow White, which becomes a crone. Um, right from when I was younger, I used to have nightmares about her being at the end of my bed and stuff. And 
Like, I'm still not over it. Still not over it. Um, and it's really weird because all she is is an old woman. So there's really nothing to be scared of, but she was always the one that terrified me the most. And it's really weird because I'm terrified of the women in black as well. And it's essentially the same thing. Like, an old kind of woman in a big black cloak, like, shouldn't really be scary, but genuinely that's what scares me. Um, but we did that, even though it's terrifying, it's the better bit. If any of you have been on it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, after that we went on to the Pinocchio ride and then after that we did Peter Pan's flight which is one of my favourite rides, it's just so nice. Um, but we are now in the Hakuna Matata restaurant having lunch. So being as healthy as we are, we have a portion of rice between us. He's got his hot chocolate, I have Diet Coke and then we've got a cake and a mac. This is our very healthy lunch.